Hello everybody, welcome to another Interior Tours video. Today we're going to be going over the all-in-one burst in the 2x2 two two and 3x1 size. I combined them because there's only 4 total and there is no hope tech on this one. But we're going to be starting with the Tayo Astroneering, which I'm going to nickname the Bachelor's Pad here. Uh, I was running full sprint there. Because like it's just furniture thrown on the ground to make a living room. Got a decent dining room table over here. A uh, case of beer underneath. Just some storage off in this corner. Got their signature piping up here for a tayo. More storage, come around. You've got like a little home gym area with this thing next to it. Not sure what that is, like counterweight system. Maybe a safety system for this thing. Then you've got your bang head here poster right behind it. Well, like, come on, tell me this doesn't scream bachelor pad. You just got like two pallets on the ground for your table an inflatable chair, like a raggedy old chair you ripped out of an old car and like a back seat of something right there. Then you've just got these random seat modules on the ground. And then you've got this back bedroom here, which is actually nice that it's completely separate because this like actually might give you some peace and quiet back here while you're trying to sleep while everyone's doing some stupid shit out there. But you just got four cots in here. I do like that they have the stairs on these cots, but these are the very basic ones with the wire and the super thin mattress pad, kind of more like a hammock setup. Um, you got a dartboard right here, some posters. Really nice uh, challenge to play through the ladder there. But of course, the ladder doesn't have to be there. If we work our way across the room, we'll dig sings. You have a bathroom here, which I don't think is the most functional because it's like this type of on a handle shower thing, which is super useful for you ladies. But like on these shelves, they have like towels and things and like your hanging rack for towels. You have to be so careful not to soak everything or screw up and soak everyone's towels. It doesn't seem the most functional, but it's pretty good size though compared to some of the other ones. Like you could actually move around in there though. So I guess that's kind of a trade off. Then we look left and we have this functional galley, I guess it has a small stove, two tiny burners with no pots, no pans. Um, I want to say they just microwave or toast everything, but there's also no toasters or microwaves or anything. So they must just skewer things on a stick and cook them over the burner in this galley. I guess I don't, I don't know how they cook anything on the ship. It feels unfinished in here. Like uh, interior decorators, you could do some work in there and actually make that a functional kitchen. But it is nice that it's a little separate room and you can watch the person in there from out here. Make sure they're not like poisoning your food or something. Not quite sure on that one. But that is the Tayo. That's what I'm nicknaming the bachelor pad here. We're going to be moving up into the Nova Galactic because there is no hope. Now, the Nova Galactic. It feels lived in. It feels nice. It feels very... I don't know, it has the Nova Galactic aesthetic to it. Someone did a really good job with this. I love the display screen so you can actually like monitor your ship a little while you're sitting here and eating. Uh, this is one of those tiny little bathrooms I was talking about. Just the built-in shower head up top, which is nice. You won't be soaking all your shower clothes, towels, and everything that are in the room, like the whole damn place. However, it doesn't have the little handheld one for you ladies. I uh, got some toasters up in here. Like they could actually cook stuff. They got pots and pans, which is what I was talking about in the other one where it doesn't feel finished at all. Nice little oven. Like, I would actually cook on this stove with the built-in sink here. This reminds me of, like, the all-in-one old-school, like, 60s, 50s, 40s. I don't know what time period they are, but they used to be, like, these all-in-one kitchen modules, kind of, that had, like, a sink, a stove, and all that stuff. Some storage right there. We've got a nice little storage closet here. Still love the things they attach to the walls here for storage. Looks so good. Um, this crew's not going to be getting scurvy. They got their oranges. That's great. Always have your vitamin C on board. And come around here. There's a nice little living room area set up. There are two beds. No neglect beds. Still are my favorite. They're really, really small. Pretty little fan up there. Empty lockers on both ends here. A little maintenance, coffee, desk area. Just a place to collect clutter, which is exactly what it looks like it's doing. I have a wonderful little work desk right over here. And uh, can't open this cabinet, unfortunately. Some nice jackets hanging up there. I like the ceilings in here. I think they do a really good job. And I just... I. Some of these other modules don't have any computers and it feels weird. It's like even in your downtime, you'd want to possibly be able to like look at systems and make sure things are good, especially if you're a minimal crew where you can't always be 100% on duty 24 uh, seven. This is their wonderful little living room. Got a nice little sectional like L couch here. Got a nice like bigger, fluffier, comfier couch. The nice table right here. Hey, it's a Nova Hab. Who would have guessed? Uh, I don't know what they're watching on this TV. So we're just kind of kind of ignore it. Now, I'm kind of torn on which one's my favorite, but we're going to head on up into the Strat Eklund here. Well, we come up into this corner, which is primarily used for storage. This is now a 3 by one half instead of a 2 by 2 so it's going to be a little bit different. But you've got some wonderful shelving up there. you got your full galley here. 
Eh, well, we're just gonna go with the pots and pans are hidden away in these drawers and stuff because they don't have any out either. A beautiful table, you can sit four people, storage mixed in here. Tiny little storage box right there on the ground. They have a wonderful dartboard to place some darts. Just love the ceilings and stuff and this, the strouds and the demosses. They just add so much depth and texture to it. Um, and the beds, like, they wouldn't be the most comfortable, but a six foot three person could sleep here and their feet would be sticking out. But like, it's better than nothing, you know? It's a lot of places you're either curled up or you're fucking SOL. And uh, I'd rather have my feet sticking out. Beautiful little posters here. You got four beds for four crew members. You have wonderful little bathroom over here. These are like the little RV bathrooms, just like in all the other Novas with the drain on the floor. The shower heads right here. Where were those at? Were those like shooting into this handle area? It's an interesting place and what a god awful place to put a towel rack with where that shower head like sprays and gonna be, it could also just like rest your junk on there, which is weird. I don't know why that popped in my brain, but it's a guy thing, it happens. I do like the towel rack out here and uh, we are going to head up. This is just some storage here. Now this would be the demos. Today yeah, after the demos, it follows basically pretty much the exact same layout as the Stroud Eklund, which is normal here. You start off with storage back here, some shelves, another kitchenette thing with a nice little, like, is that like a modified crazy French press grinder coffee maker thing? That could be a microwave too. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure why they have a giant display screen behind the uh, stove either in these modules. But the same wonderful tables here, same ceiling with just the great detail. I love these struts still. Um, different type of dartboard, but a wonderful dartboard nonetheless. Same exact type of uh, crew bunks, and I like that they put the stairs on the outside to help the top bunk get up and down without having to step here and kick this gentleman in the face. Um, then we just have the storage back here with the same bathrooms, I'm pretty sure. Yep, exact same bathroom. So, which one is Dig's favorite? Um, I don't know. I almost want to say the Nova Galactic because it's most lived in. But like I like the Stroud beds. I like the kitchen up here. Um, and I tend to make more narrowish ships rather than like big fat ships. So just like from an aesthetics point of view, kind of might go with the Stroud. I don't know. They're all so different, except for the Demos and the Stroud. So we're going to go Nova and Stroud, depending on what kind of vibe I'm feeling. But I will see you all in the next one. Big Fig. Let me know which one's your favorite and why you chose it. I'll see you.